Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you are deciding to explore these videos. Um, so what I want to do in this quick one um, for you wonderful Earth 400 folks is just to give you a brief rundown and introduction of our Canvas page. Um, everyone sets up their Canvas page differently, so I want to give you a quick rundown if you have not um, had a chance to go through our Canvas quite yet. Um, and if any, by the way, if any links or anything don't work, please let me know. They generally will work for me, but sometimes they don't always work. So, um, and again, I'm teaching quite a few classes this semester. I thought I've had all this stuff all good and set up, but you know, I'm human. I make mistakes and some things don't always um, pop into what they should. <laughs> so um, let me get this into student view here. So when you um, come in and click the home button for our page, this is what should pop up. Um, so this will pop up every single time. Um, so you'll have like a, a very pretty picture here. I love this picture so much, a little rain shower over San Francisco with a rainbow. Um, but you'll get a little blurb of the class here and kind of where we're meeting um, and stuff like that. Um, and then on the left-hand side is where you'll see any extra buttons here. Um, modules is going to be really important. I'll show us that here in a second. But also what you will um, encounter on Canvas is a beautiful little to-do list here on the right-hand side. So the to-do list will be really important to help you organize any uh, um, assignments that need to be turned in or assignments that are coming up, um, which are going to be a, a big thing here. And um, excuse me, it will be just kind of overall very helpful. Um, for you to kind of be organized. Um, and then here are my how to get in touch with me links. So this is a direct link to my email and my office hours. Um, so the, again, um, in person and virtual are Mondays, Wednesdays, 10 to 11, and then only virtual on Fridays, 10 to 11, unless you happen to be on Skyline campus, which you can always come and say hi to me there uh, if you want. And then my office is actually upstairs from our lecture room, um, which is in room uh, 623. So there's a little placard on my um, office door. You can always pop in anytime and say hi. I will be on campus a lot. If, if you're watching this for the um, fall 24 semester, I'm on campus Monday through Thursday, pretty much um, eight, 9 to 10 a.m. to about 6 p.m. almost every day. Um, so I'm around, I'm mostly teaching, but if you see my um, see my door open, you're always welcome to pop in and say hello. Some other useful links here um, that you will should have a look at, um, specifically the syllabus and the schedule. It's also linked in the main modules page, but they're linked here as well for ease. Um, have a look at these at your earliest convenience and um, especially the syllabus, read through that carefully and you can have a look at the schedule as well to see what we are currently um, forecast to go um, to go over in with class material. And just some other useful documents and resources here like Food Shelter Success is really awesome, any sort of Canvas support, tech support, DPRC and the library. Um, any overall scholarship and internship opportunities are here. If I hear about anything through the School of the Environment in terms of scholarships and internships, I will verbalize those and have like slides in class. Um, things pop up every now and then, but honestly, like always apply for anything. You never know if people will say yes, um, and it's a really great opportunity to do those. Also, I like including here the San Francisco Thursday Night Adult Nights. Um, it's really fun to go to either the Exploratorium or the Cal Academy of Sciences when there's not a bunch of little children running around. Um, and if you're like me and you like to go explore things without a lot of kids, it's a, they're a really nice thing. So I have links here so that you can explore any sort of different themes that will be um, explored for that particular night. Cal Academy doesn't do themes as much. It's more of an Exploratorium theme but still kind of dope. Um, if you're 21 up, uh, Cal Academy is 21 up only, but Exploratorium is 18 plus if you happen to not be of legal drinking age. Um, at either one, you can drink if you um, partake. The next most important button you're going to love for this class is the modules button. So from here, um, this will take you to everything you're gonna need for the class. Um, so what you're gonna notice here is in this first module, um, 
you can't click into any of these other pages. They're grayed out, right? So what you have to do, and also the first week's to-dos are also grayed out. Like, what the frick? I need to do these. They're due. Ah! Well, you have to go through the first module first. And not only viewing the pages, but notice you have to also mark done these pages. So it's a way to kind of get you to actively um, participate and read through um, what I have curated here for you, a fun little about me video um, as needed and instructor contact info. And then instead of just pushing next, click on mark as done. And then you can go forward um, and read getting started, um, kind of a little blurb about our class in general. Again, mark as done. I'm obviously going through this really quickly. You should go through it much more slowly and actually read through it. Um, and stuff like that and then um, there's the syllabus again and the course schedule so now that i've gone through those first materials now all these have opened up huzzah it's fantastic you love to see it so um the biggest thing that i always get emails about in the first week is why aren't these assignments unlocked um well you have to go through this first module first all right and then from here, how it's set up, um, a couple modules kind of at the top here while I'm gone. Um, unfortunately, I have to be gone the first week, but I'll be back on week two. Um, and there's a little overview here and there will be assignments under this once I get those assignments actually written and completed. Then um, some journal article reviews. You notice there's already something here for us to go through and that's because I'm gone for the first week. So I'm kind of giving us a little head start on this idea of um, skimming through articles. You do not have to read this whole article, by the way. So make sure you read the directions carefully, skim through it, and we're gonna come back as a class together um, and kind of see what y'all had to say about it. So please complete that before um, we come back to classes. From here, I have the module set up per unit. So unit one is pretty quick generally. So the earth system, any discussion boards we'll have um, are gonna be here, lab resources and the unit quiz. Any lecture slides also will be included here as well. So when you click in on um, that page, you'll see I'll have, um, I'll have our content slides here. So, um, and that will continue on for the rest of the, um, for the rest of the modules as well. The weather briefing, I'll actually, once we get going to that, I'll probably move that further up in the page. You will have a project in this class. Again, feel free to read the syllabus for that and extra credit. Um, though I actually need to delete, excuse me, this exam analysis and reflection. Um, I brought that in from, um, I brought that module, I copied it over from another class and they actually have exams. You do not have exams in this class. You're welcome. You've already trudged through your GE work with probably a bunch of exams and stuff. You're in an upper division class now. No exam. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I, do, I adopted this class. As my, if you're watching this for fall of 2024, it's my third time teaching this class. Um, and if you're watching it for subsequent um, semesters, awesome. Then I have another one under my belt. Um, but always kind of learning as we go, right? But anyway, so that's the, the Canvas setup. If you have any questions on anything and any questions about Canvas in general, please reach out and ask. I'm happy to um, facilitate any of those questions and help guide you as to what things look like. Um, other than that though, my friends, thank you so much for watching this wonderful Canvas introduction. Um, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thanks so much, bye.